How long have you been in Fresno? Uh, well, I'm from here. I'm from Clovis. Oh, really? Um, but I've been at this station for a little over three years. About 15 years ago, maybe 17, I was the head of training for Pelco. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So I did the commute from Visalia yeah. up to Clovis yeah. like every day. It's oh my 45 goodness. minutes, 45 miles drive. one way. I got to go down down there a lot actually. <laughs> Cuz our market is like Porterville to Merced. Oh yes, yeah. 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 But Visalia is super cute. The little downtown area is probably way different than you remember. Uh scoot that way just a tad. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna uh, shoot this as a look live or live to tape. So we're just gonna do it just as if you were like here. A conversation. Yep, yep. Just a conversation. You don't have to look at the cameras. You just look at me. Okay, you and, got it. And we'll chat. Stephanie Crow. Yes. Okay. And okay. the company is Learn.net. Learn.net. CEO of Learn.net. Okay. All right. And in three, two, one. Well, we are living in a distracted world, and this distraction is making it difficult to learn new things. So, here to teach us something new today is Stephanie Crow, CEO of Learn.net. So, uh, I'm actually, a, I, in my off time, I teach myself. And um, I, I, and I am always thinking of myself as a lifelong learner, but as I get older, I find that it is hard to learn new things. I was trying to learn the guitar earlier last year. That's late, last wonderful, year. yeah. But it's, it's hard as you get older. <laughs> you know, I'd really love to learn a foreign language. Yes. I, I would love to learn all of these things, but but we are so distracted and, and it's hard to get those those habits down. So why do you think we, we aren't learning new things? So you were absolutely right when you said we are constantly distracted. Everything from emails to phone notifications to just everything going on around us. So it's actually reduced our focus and no one really wants to sit in a long multi-hour training or session. Uh, speaking quite frankly as a head of learning from several organizations in my career, nobody even wants to sit 30 minutes for an e-learning anymore. So the amount of content we think that it's the, about the content, but it's not actually about the content. Yeah. It's about performing and doing it and making it into a habit. Yes. So when I was getting really good at the guitar, <laughs> it was a part of my habit every day. I would sit down before I would do anything, before I would clean or make dinner or whatever, I would sit down for 30 minutes and practice. And then I, I stopped doing that and it stopped becoming a habit. Mm -hmm. And so now I, I don't, I can't play anymore. So how do, how exactly do we learn? Is it just habit or how, in your experience, how do you think we learn so the definition of learning in terms of psychology is actually habituation so when we say learn we think it means listen or to be able to take in content uh -huh. but in fact to habituate something you have to move it from the front of your brain which is the prefrontal cortex into the back of your brain which is where you have automatic behavior mm -hmm. so what you need to do is to make every single piece of what you are learning like the guitar each little progression needs to be habituated in order for you to progress. And that's, I think, where people struggle, is they, they want to take in some content, uh -huh. watch a video, and yeah. say, oh, I know how. I know yeah. my kids are like that. Oh, I've watched a video. I now know I, how. Now I know it. <laughs> but in fact, to say that you truly know it is to say that you've done it and you've performed it. And that's what we do. We actually break down competencies for different skills. And then we use AI and brain science to push little challenges to make you move that new skill from the front of your brain to the back. Right. So how are you building these habits? How do we actually do? And when do we know it's a habit? You know it's a habit when you don't have to think about it anymore. Right, 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 right. That's when you know. So the way we're doing this is we use a technology at learn.net uh -huh. to send challenges to people who are building certain habits, particularly workplace habits, but also right. wellness habits, interaction habits, professional habits. So essentially each day a challenge is given and then you have the opportunity to take that new skill and write it to the back of your brain just a challenge, just a small microburst, and then it's spaced in repetition over time, uh -huh. and the AI only presents to you what you personally need. 
The, okay, the AI in the world of learning and pedagogy <laughs> is so interesting to me. I was watching this story about how they were using AI to help um, elementary school kids read, and it was fascinating. And I was thinking, oh, I would have picked up reading, I mean, 10 times faster, Much faster. If, if it could identify where my struggles were yes. and then helped me with more of that content. Mm -hmm. So what are these types of habits that you're building? What, what are these skills and what are people learning? It's a very broad range, but the most common ones we get are, for example, customer service, uh -huh. safety needs to be top of mind in certain industries like construction and manufacturing, uh, fraud prevention and financial services has to be absolutely top of mind with every transaction, cybersecurity, but also things that are softer skills like wellness, uh, diabetes prevention. My current favorite is we're working with a nonprofit to end distracted driving because it's a habit. Focus driving yeah. is a habit. Yeah. That's right. Well, I love this idea, especially for wellness. The, the, the healthiest people I know, the fittest people I know, going to the gym, eating healthy is just a habit. They yes. don't even have to think about it. It's just something that they do. And right. so this could leak into all parts of life. So if we want to get in touch with you, if we want to build good habits with our team and help them learn more, how can we do that? I encourage anyone to come to learn.net slash habits, and we have the ability to share a a piece, a document that'll help people learn how learning experts talk about habits. Uh, and we'd love to talk to anybody who's interested in learning habits. Okay, perfect. We've got the QR code down there in the bottom of your screen, and then we'll put the information on our website as well. Stephanie Crow, thank you so much. Delighted to be with you, Emily. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sorry, no, 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 you're I good. That that bit. Nobody will even notice. Thank you so much. That was great. It's a pleasure. I love it. That was excellent. We got a lot of good stuff out of that. Okay. Okay. Last year.